Hi everyone, welcome to the best of catch series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question in geometry. Now, here they are telling us that there's a chord of length 5 cm which subtends angle of 60 degrees at the center of the circle. So, your diagram would look something like this. There's a chord, uh, this is the center, chord AB of 5 cm and subtends angle of 60 degrees at the center, which means angle AOB is 60 degrees. So, we got till here. What have they asked us to do? Then they are telling us the length in centimeters of chord that subtends angle of 120 degrees at the center of the same circle is how much. So, there are now they are saying there is one more chord which subtends angle of 120 degrees at the center of the same circle. What will be the length of that chord? Now, that chord could be on the same side of AB, same side of the center as AB or on the opposite side that will not matter to us. So, obviously, do not complicate your diagram and hence not to complicate it, I have just drawn the other chord PQ on the other side, right? So, that is PQ is the second chord and angle POQ is given as 120 degrees. We need to find the length of PQ. Let us look at it. Basic properties are there. Now, let us start with triangle OAB. Now, if you notice in triangle OAB, the angle of the vertex is 60 degrees. These two sides are equal because they are the radius of the circle, right? Now, if two sides are equal, two angles also become equal. So, automatically triangle OAB becomes an equilateral triangle because one angle is 60, which means the total of the other two angles were 120, 180 minus 60, which means each of them will become 60, 60. So, triangle OAB becomes an equilateral triangle, right? Now, once I got triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle, I know that the rate all sides are 5, 5, 5 and therefore, my radius is 5. That radius continues down making OP and OQ also 5 and 5. Now, I want to find PQ. Now, let us just concentrate on the triangle OPQ. What type of triangle is it? Again, it is an isosceles triangle with one angle is 120. So, the other two angles are 30, 30. Now, from here onwards, there could have been a lot of approaches by which you could have found PQ. One is you could have used sign rule. A upon sin A is equal to B upon sin C, B is equal to C upon sin C or you could have dropped a perpendicular from here and we could have then used 30, 60, 90, uh, 30, 60, 90 theorem on one side and just doubled up. Uh, first, we would have found PM. So, just to show it to you, say PM, this angle would be 60. PM would be root 3 upon 2 of the hypotenuse which is phi. So, it would be phi upon 2 root 3. PM, but we want to find PO which will be double of that. So, answer will be phi root 3 which is the first option. But very frankly, if you have reached this step or this far into a question, you should be knowing this property that if one angle is 120 and the other two angles are 30, 30 and this is very commonly used, the sides will always be in the ratio 1, 1 and root 3. Sides will always be in the ratio 1, 1 and root 3. You should be knowing this. Okay. So, there is not even that extra 10, 15 seconds you are wasting. 1, 1 root 3. So, the side becomes, the third side becomes 5 root 3, first option. Again, a pretty easy question. Geometry, you know, is not a very difficult area. A lot of students find geometry very difficult because they do not know the concepts. They do not know their properties well. And hence, they find geometry very difficult. I think if you know your concepts well, geometry should not be very difficult and should become a good scoring area for you. Well, please try the replica for this question and give your answers in the comment box.